Hi Matthias. How are you? Hello Sebastian. Yeah, let's uh, take a look at the charts of today, starting with the euro dollar. Yeah, euro dollar in no man's land, I would say. Um, so we have a nice, nice downtrend um, with a nice pullback at the level of 1.1950. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I expect to see euro dollar more uh, yeah to the downside um, than to the upside. And for me, it's it's more in a short trade. But of course, it's not a recommendation. Um, but it's more likely that we see euro dollar close to one fifteen than to one twenty back. Okay. Yeah. What's your do? You, are there any fundamental events to watch tomorrow? Um, no, nothing regarding US dollar or ECB uh, that I can remember, but in general maybe it's to say that the fundamental analysis is that the Fed will, yeah, will, the interest rates will go up, um, yeah, way faster than in the U uh, Europe, mm -hmm. and this may be driven the US dollar much more than the Euro. And yeah. maybe this is one of the reasons for falling prices in euro dollar. Mm -hmm. But definitely some resistance also coming up. But in the short term, for short term traders, there's definitely some more room to the downside. That's your analysis here. Yeah, this is, this is what I expect. Let's take a look at oil. Yeah. What oil earned uptrend and how, how steady it has been. Um, yeah, it's 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 very steady. So uh, you can have a look at your uh, at oil since I think not not one hundred percent sure, but the entire year oil is rising, and yeah, we come from the level of thirty five I think one or two years ago, mm -hmm. and now we are close to a very very high and very important resistance level at seventy seven dollar. Now currently we are at seventy two dollars. Mm -hmm. And I expect to see the break out of this little range uh, you can see on the chart. Um, There's a little to, bit of a range from 70 to 72. Yes, it's a very tiny range and I expect to see uh, rising prices when we see a closing daily price above $72. Um, yeah, and after that I expect to see a test of the $77 uh, level and then to be honest, I think we will see a bigger correction. Of course, this is not for sure, but this is what I expect to see. Mm -hmm. And uh, fundamentally, there's of course a lot of Iran talk involved yeah. in this, especially recently. How do you how do you see this? Um, how do you see this situation? I think this is a little bit overestimated. Um, and um, as you see the, the gas station in Germany and you, you listen to the radio, then everywhere, uh, everybody is telling you oil is on the record, but if you see the charts, it isn't true. So oil is way ahead from, from the tops of 150 or even more uh, we have seen three years ago. And yeah, I don't think it's so dramatically as everybody is saying it right now. Mm -hmm. So my expectation is that we will see more correct uh, correction after testing the 77 level. Okay. Yeah, very interesting for everyone to watch. I mean, this is one of the rallying assets of the year so far. Yes. But that shouldn't hold us back from taking a look at the golden gold. <laughs> <laughs> one of my favorites in my yeah, personal favorites. account you've been invested since 1230s or since the 1230s? Uh, yes uh, I think it, it was even higher so 12 uh, 1350 close to that um, and now we are at 1280 so a lot and I'm invested with three contracts so it's a huge investment for for my personal account but it's a little bit hatched with a long silver position, but maybe this is not the topic of this call. Um, <laughs> well, I'm sure people are interested in your position sizing and risk management, but we will go more into this in a different analysis. Here, mm -hmm. so we have left this corridor from 1310 to 1360, 
to the lower end. So now yeah. you expect a further continuation to the downside? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I expect this. And you can handle this, uh, this current situation with, I think, two, maybe three kind of trading. So the first one is you can go short directly with the market. So with the market order right now, for example. Uh, the second one is just waiting for pullback to the former, resist, uh, former support level, which is now a resistance level. Um, of course, not all the time a pullback will happen. So maybe you miss this trade when you are waiting for a pullback. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, then you have a third option to trade this. So with a tiny position, you can enter the market right now and maybe you can scaling in after a pullback is phasing up and then you can take another short position in gold. So these are the three variations or three options you can trade gold uh, on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Okay, and for shorter term traders, um, do you have any recommendations? Uh, of course, not a recommendation, but an idea. And uh, the idea is that um, the pullback is is most, yeah, I, I think we will see a, a pullback. And this means for short-term trader that they can go long with the profit target of the resistance level, which is around $1,310. Okay, excellent. Then we have one last asset we want to take a look at, and that is the S&P 500. What is the US stock market doing here and what does it mean for the rest of the world? Yeah, it seems that we are here in an ascending triangle. Yes, it's an ascending triangle. And um, yesterday and the day before, um, I have highlighted this. Uh, we have seen an evening star, but this wasn't a perfect evening star because some very important aspects are missing there. For example, um, the formation was not confirmed by a next candle. So the, the, the daily candle from yesterday um, has not confirmed the evening star pattern because the, the lowest price was not below the bearish candle. So this is for me a confirmation about this uh, candlestick pattern. And the second thing is that uh, the, yeah, the wick below the bearish candle was too long, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. and this also indicates maybe the um, reversal pattern is not that strong uh, as we could use it for a short trade. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, I think that's all the input we are going to give today, but of course, always more on tradingmo.com where Matthias is now going to give a premium coaching to another user. So let yes. me go and say, see you tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you very much for today, okay. Matthias. Always wisdom, very much appreciated. <laughs> me too. Have a nice one. Bye. Thank you. Bye.